We passed the 100 subscribers mark. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Arigato! Hi, let's celebrate with Python, huh? By the way, we're at chapter 8. That's an 8. Functions. Woo. Pretty big chapter. Uh, I'll split it into three parts, I think. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Okay. Functions. Blocks of code that are designed to do one specific task, okay? And when you've written that block of code, you can call it and it will do the, the task that you that you wrote, okay? That's what we're gonna do today. Functions. Starting off with defining. Let me first make a document. Boop. Like that. And you have to start with defining a function like this. Holy shit, it turns green. That's fucking cool, <laughs> actually. Hey, that's, that's kind of funny. Okay, a few things already. You can make comments you, like this in functions. You gotta you gotta put it like this. Uh, the other way is like this, remember? So that's uh, the first thing. But we're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna let that stay here. So we define our variable and then we can say, hey, let's, let's print hello user. And we can call this function just by by typing this okay i forgot <laughs> i forgot the thing all right like just like that okay so you don't have to use print or other stuff it's it's, it's great it's great that's the very basics now you might have noticed there are these parentheses what the fuck are those why 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 would they why would you have those and what goes in here are informations okay and the information can be anything and you could see it as a variable within the function so what i mean by that is let's say uh, we create a variable username what python does is it reads this and it expects something for username so what we have to do is define something within the parentheses that could be a username like capybara so now when we execute this wait wait i gotta use username and then f string yeah <laughs> i forgot i forgot this had to be in the code as well okay so this is the information you can also call it a parameter or an argument there's a lot a lot of names if i understand it correctly i think but yeah this is the variable parameter argument let's go into the code and then uh, when we call upon the function we have to fill in something for the variable okay yeah it's kind of confusing uh, practice with it you, you, you'll get it you'll get it maybe i can this. Okay. okay i was wrong guys i was wrong correction <laughs> we call this a parameter this is the argument but people can use it interchangeably okay so i'm not i'm not kind of wrong but officially i think it's it's called a, a parameter argument so now we know next up what if we have more parameters within a function you can have more parameters so let's say username and let's do a gender for just for fun okay well now we have two variables and we have to use those two variables okay so we use these two for here and here and then the fun part how do we write this in the the, the function well that's kind of simple you go in order you type out what it should be for the argument so let's say we have capybara and we have male we can print it and it gives us this okay that's the cool thing another thing is we can also uh, call on this function multiple times so let's say katafinki and let's say he's also a male mm -hmm. so instead of writing this whole thing uh, variable is equal to this or, or gender is equal to this or creating a whole ass dictionary or lists you can just call upon the function write your own arguments in them and it will it will give you this wow that's fucking handy beware of the positioning if we were to turn this around so we would say male and then para it is gonna say hello male i'm a copy bar oh wait uh, uh, 
<laughs> but it's switched, you know? So positions matter. Okay, cool. Uh, but, but what if I already know what the gender is? I only want males. Uh, how can I set it up so that this will always be male? You can do that also. How do I, how do I do it? You type this. You type this. Now, now it's set to male always. What can we do then? Well, we can just skip the second parameter because this already has a value so, don't, so we don't have to fill in anything here okay so if we print this boom the code works it's 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 amazing but what if we have three things here uh, how does that work then i, 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 I kind of struggle for this uh bit. but eventually i did get it though but enjoy me struggling for a bit <laughs> <Bad one. laughs> shit okay i don't I, I, I don't get it. I, th I think you just have to put it here. Uh, and then it will... Uh, and then it will work. Um, so, so I think this cannot be in between. It, it gotta be gotta be at the end. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, if uh, we have a default value of male, but the position of dog is in the position of the gender, what will happen, you think? That's right. It will change to dog. Okay, maybe confusing because... Okay, well, let me... Okay, okay, now it's... Maybe. I changed the position of these two. Uh, but, but what will happen if I were to print this? Position matters, guys. Okay. So we wouldn't expect male here. No, 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 no. We, we are gonna expect dog. And we're gonna see for pet that it's gonna be male. Which is wrong. This, this is, uh, this is leading. So, boom. What do we see? Pet. I have a pet. It's gonna be male. Gender. We would think it's male. No, no, no. It's gonna be dog. And it is dog. So, um... This is leading. But yeah, the way you can think of it is, well, does it have a default value? If yes, then it's often gonna use the default value. Unless you put something in the position, in the argument, then it's gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna choose these. But if this were empty, now it's just gonna go to the default value, okay? Unless you add something here, then it's gonna go. I hope it's clear. <laughs> But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, exercises. We're gonna do three. We're gonna do three exercises. Exercise t-shirts. We're gonna define make shirt. Uh-huh. Colon. And it has to do two things. It has to print out the size and a text uh, on the shirt that uh, we want to print. Okay. So, so let's see. Size. And I'm gonna put something in here. Let's do size and text uh okay and then then we can call upon the function like so and let's put in s uh oh, s and ice cream let's delete this for a second oh yeah nice i've got to make it into an f string that's the first exercise, pretty simple. The second exercise, we want to modify this so that it is by default a large sized t-shirt with the text I love Python. So we basically just do this then, huh? We delete this and then we say large and, and this and then we can just call. Uh, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's it. Okay. <laughs> And the last one, cities. They want me to describe a city. And it has two parameters, a city and the country. And they want to say, hey, city, oh, F string, F string, city is in country. And we can just call upon the function again, I guess. Let's do Amsterdam and the netherlands not holland because that's that's not how it works uh, okay and let's call on it oh oh that's that's what i forgot oh okay nice and simple we love to see that we love to see that to make life easier we can uh, just uh put this as default value boop and then we just uh, only need to call and then uh, and then give an argument for the city 
for them. Boom. And that's the basics for now. Cool. Now we, uh, I finally understand what this means. It, it, <laughs> that's epic. I always wondered what the fuck it did. Now I know. It's kind of simple. Humma, humma, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So, once again, people, thank you for the 100 subs. I promise the videos are going to get more interesting later on. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in my toddler phase, okay? It's, it's going to come in a few years. Just be patient, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. See you guys next time. Peace.